What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Bruce, this is What's Poppy, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at doing sticker swaps as well as window swaps for all of you inbox Funko Pop collectors. That is right guys, in today's video we're going to be talking all about how you can do some running repairs on your Funko Pops that you like to keep in box. As you guys know, as you see behind me here, I'm not a massive inbox collector but I've started keeping more and more of my collection in box as I've gone along and there's some that I just really like the way they look in the box or it's just easier to store them. If I've got enough pops then I like to have them all out as one collection together out of box and build little displays with them. But when they're in box, sometimes you just have three or four and they fit nicely together as a collection. So the reason I'm doing this video is actually somebody else's misfortune. Um, what happened recently was I was scrolling through Facebook and I found a pawn shop here in Pretoria where I'm staying that was selling a bunch of exclusive and limited edition uh, chase all kinds of exclusive rare Funko Pops. So I jumped in the car, headed straight over there and what must have happened is I've seen a bit of news about it on the groups and that now and sort of put the pieces together. Somebody's geezer burst uh, and fortunately it flooded their entire collection room, flooded all of their Funko Pops and absolutely wrecked the boxes. God, please no! 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 So they obviously decided to get rid of that as a set, took it to the pawn shop and uh, anyways uh, their, their loss was kind of my gain in a way. I feel really bad for them because it was a stunning collection um, and I feel horrible for any collector that has to go through you know that kind of um, that kind of loss and uh, there was a lot of value that they definitely lost out on which really sucks. But I thought this might be a teachable moment because I went into the store, picked up some amazing exclusives. I picked up a Chase Pennywise, um, a whole lot of other Chases. I picked up a New York Comic Con exclusive Supergirl uh, that was actually at the con with the official con sticker. Um, I picked up a ton of stuff guys. I, I went a little bit crazy. I picked up a Toxin for my um, uh, Walgreens exclusive Toxin for my Venom collection. There was just a ton of stuff and I picked up some really cool figures and because I'm mainly out box it doesn't really concern me but I thought this might be a good moment to go ahead and show you guys how you can maybe mitigate some of those losses if something like that happens to you so before we get into showing you guys a little bit about how I go about fixing some of my inbox pops when I have problems with them uh, two things firstly uh, prevention always, is always better than a cure so if possible guys keep your pops as protected as you can keep them away from places where geezers can burst all that kind of stuff and try and keep them in protectors I know it can be a little bit pricey if you've got a lot of inbox pops but um, Pop Protective Rose here in South Africa supplies some amazing pop protectors out to you guys um, for a really great price. Great bundle deals, great hard stacks, um, 0.5 millimeter protectors, PPGO products, uh, themed, themed protectors, all that kind of stuff. So definitely go ahead and check them out and remember that prevention is definitely better than a cure in this case because you're never going to get the, the box back to that original mint condition. Then speaking about that mint condition guys, I just want to put a little disclaimer in and say that I recommend doing this for your own personal purposes or your own personal collection. I don't necessarily think it's ethical if you are doing something like this to try and sell your pops look I mean if you if you discuss it with the seller and they know exactly what's happened uh, that you've done a sticker swap or you've done a window swap on the pop that they're buying I think that's okay as long as you let them know and both parties know exactly what's going on because you'll see especially with the window swaps you are going to damage the inside of the box a bit you are going to change that original Funko product a tiny little bit and especially when it comes to really expensive pops I don't think that's necessarily ethical to be going ahead and doing that and then and then trying to sell them off. So by all means do it for your own personal purposes. I do it for my own personal pops that I know I'm not going to sell and uh, I like the look of them in the box so that's the way I go about it. But yeah just something to keep in mind when you're going about fixing your Funko Pop boxes. Right guys and let's get straight into how we do this. Now the pop I'm going to be using to show you the window swap is a Georgie Denver Chase. So this this is the chase that I picked up uh, from the pawn shop and you can see the box uh, has seen better days. So this poor guy uh, has been heavily water damaged, the box is uh, a bit swollen where the water has been absorbed. Um, but the most important things for this one guys is the sticker is intact, the sticker is fine and the window is fine. So I thought to myself, I have a normal Georgie that I bought at Comic Con for 100 bucks um, from the Funko stand. Let me go ahead and do a swap on this figure so you can have a look at this guy and uh, we'll store him in box and keep him with my Chase Pennywise which wasn't too bad. I managed to salvage the box a bit on that one. So the reason I'm doing a box swap on this one and not just a sticker swap is you will have noticed that uh, the Chase figures for it all have blood. 
So we have that bloody window that we need to sort out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to store this guy out of box, get him into a, get this chase into a pristine box, and uh, I'm going to show you quickly how you can do that. So first things first, you want to remove the window from the box that you are in essence going to be throwing away. So that's quite a big process, uh, and you can just do that however you'd like. Then you're going to go ahead and remove as much of that excess glue and cardboard as you can before doing the real surgical part of this, which is removing the uh, window from the box that you're trying to keep. So here you're trying to minimize any damage to your box. You want to use a butter knife or a craft knife, whichever you, you are better with and have more dexterity. And uh, with practice it gets a lot easier. This part is pretty much the hardest when you remove that window. Once you've removed that window, you can clean up the box a bit and then get on to gluing on your new window. Here you're going to just add some wood glue in this case and uh, dab a bit of that excess glue away. You can see us doing that there before going ahead and carefully placing your new window right over the box and having it ready to go in about 10 minutes. It's all about all, it's all that it really takes for this box to dry. So, quick process and definitely well worth it. And here we have the finished product with the Georgie Chase in his brand new box. Well, kind of brand new, with his new window and the blood spats and the chase sticker, I think it looks really great and uh, I think it's a pretty good finished product. So a couple of things to keep in mind when you are doing this guys, first things first, as I said before, you would have seen in the video there, you are going to damage the box somewhat. So definitely not something to be doing if you are planning on reselling the pop uh, or if you're planning on selling it to somebody else, you know, doing a box swap and trying to um, use that as a way to, you know, improve box condition. I would not recommend it whatsoever. This is really for you guys, for your own collections. Uh, for your own peace of mind really just as your own display pieces um so will you see now i really enjoyed doing this figure i enjoyed putting them together i enjoyed the the whole box swap process um there were a couple of things that didn't go 100 percent you would have seen when we took the the, sh the window out uh was a bit of extra tearing that happened there so that is something that can happen from time to time and i do recommend that you guys practice on a box perhaps that is not one that you're going to be doing a swap on a box that you might want to throw away or a damaged box that you're not going to use just to practice getting that window out a couple of times that's something i can definitely improve on in my future window swaps is to make sure we don't have as much of that breakaway there. I think one way of getting around that is to use a craft knife instead of the butter knife. Uh, the only reason we used the butter knife in ours was because the craft knife was not long enough to actually be able to go through and reach all of those uh, those nooks and crannies and crevices that you have to get under to pull that away. The next thing guys, and this is one of the most important things that I did not mention before, is that if you are not changing a box for box, so you're not necessarily changing a Georgie for a Georgie, you need to make sure that the window you choose is going to be covered by this part of the box right here. So you would have seen when you take these screens out, when you take the, the windows out, they do have a bit of cardboard still stuck to them. Uh, we used a bit of stick stuff, is what we call it, uh, to get some of that cardboard off. But if you cannot get all of that cardboard off, you need to at least make sure that the picture of your character is going to cover that bit of cardboard where there's a bit of residual glue. But otherwise, the process is pretty straightforward. Take your time. Put, make sure you line it up nicely when you're going to stick, a, stick the, the final window down onto the box and uh, once you're happy with it go ahead and stick him on. This one took about 10 minutes to dry with a wood glue and uh, I think the final product looks pretty great. Alright guys, that is one way of going about doing some running repairs on your pops if you want to change the window. In that case we have to change the window because while I know some other people have had windows that have cracked and you have to change the window out, we have to change the window because we had that blood spatter that we needed to get across onto that other box. So just be careful when you are doing that guys, pay close attention on the pop box that you're trying to keep and the one you're trying to fix. Obviously the one where you take the window out is a bit of a throwaway, um, but the one that you're trying to put it onto, be very gentle with that, take your time when placing it on the inside to get that glue aligned and just make sure you get it nice and straight and, and looking great because that's what you want at the end of the day. So there we have Georgie in his box with his chase sticker, um, with his, in his specific inserts, I had to keep the insert for that because his arm is loose. So yeah, we have him in box and I'm very happy to have him as a chase that's going to go next to my Pennywise chase. Now you won't always need to do a window swap. In some cases you can just do a plain sticker swap and this is great for South African collectors because we often miss out on a lot of stickers. So what I did was from my time at the pawn shop I went ahead and um, I threw all the boxes out that I wasn't that I, uh, that I could not salvage and that I wasn't going to keep and I have taken all the windows off to keep all my different stickers. So I have chase stickers, I have uh, this special edition sticker which is quite nice for some of our special edition stickers that tend to peel. Uh, there's two versions of this one so my one Wonder Woman from Comic Con is peeling so I may do a sticker swap on that one and replace that one. 
Um, I've changed a few chase stickers that uh, had either fallen off or, or the boxes were pretty bad. Uh, and these preview, these PX previews exclusive stickers as well do tend to peel um, on some of them. So got a couple in stock and uh, keeping these in my back pocket for any pops that I need to change. I'm going to quickly show you one now uh, and one example of how you can go about doing a sticker swap for our flocked panda pool. So this flock panda pool here in South Africa was pretty much only at PA, was one of the only places you could get it. There were one or two other stores that got it in. Um, but this flocked one I was only able to pick up at PA and we didn't have a PA sticker for it. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead, because there's a hot topic exclusive, and show you a quick sticker swap with my Elrond that a friend of mine brought me from the States, and uh, the box got, got, got kind of wrecked, so I'm gonna just take the stick off. So what some people do is they like to take a hairdryer and just heat up the glue behind the sticker a little bit. I know people are a bit nervous about that because you're scared of melting the plastic. If it's a specific pop that you're trying to keep, in this case I'm not too worried because the Elrond box is kind of wrecked. Um, if you're not too worried about that, what I like to do is just peel the sticker. So you can use a hairdryer which may end up melting the box. I think if you're, pretty care if you're pretty careful with it, you should be okay. But what I've done here is with these Hot Topic stickers, especially they work quite well, I've just picked away at the edge of it and once you've got enough of it, you can just peel the thing right off like so. So once that sticker comes off, it stays really sticky. Uh, these Hot Topic ones are really good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my panda pool. So I'm just gonna find a nice spot there. You guys get to watch my head as I select a spot for it. Um, make sure you've cleaned off your your pop beforehand but there we go we have a hot topic exclusive blocked panel pool and it's as simple as that guys these stickers will stay on um, they they are really you know if, if you need to you can always add a bit of print or a bit of something that's gonna help you stick it down um, but these stickers generally stay quite sticky uh, and that's why I leave them on their cards or on the windows until I'm ready to swap them out otherwise that's one that's one great way of keeping your pops uh, looking great and keeping those stickers minty fresh that about does it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it useful if you did enjoy it please go ahead hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future Future episodes guys let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be doing any sticker swaps if you have any tips and tricks for fixing fungo pops that you want to share with the community I know some people like to use irons to get you know the cardboard flat if you have some issues there I'm a little bit nervous about that uh, I haven't delved into that just yet but if you have any tips and tricks definitely let me know in the comments down below I'm always super keen to hear from you guys guys that does for this episode of what's popping and I look forward to seeing all of you guys in the next video